right now I was just thinking there's so many items that I don't buy that normally people buy definitely everyone has a different minimalist journey has a different path do not compare your path to anyone else's we all have our own path and I just wanted to go down 50 things I do not buy as a minimalist so this is what I don't buy it's either a I do not want to spend money on that to I just have no need for it. So I will try my best to go into detail of all the things I go down the list with you and let's just get started because I have 50 things to go through. Number one is extra bedding sheets. Every single bed has its set and that's it. Just take, We just take them off, we wash them, we put them back on. And if they get worn, I replace them. The reason I started doing that is because A, I don't have storage to store more linens. So, and I realized I don't need them. I just use them up. I we wash them, we put them back on. Number two is quilts. I don't buy quilts, I don't buy extra blankets, um, bedding, um, decor, um, bed in the box things uh, to make your bed look all pretty and proper. I mean, I don't do that. You guys see, I just I just make my bed, that's my, the sheets, that's the duvet cover, that's the pillowcases, and I don't feel I need it. Number one, again, I don't have storage for that. Would I want some extra bedding? Mm, I don't know. At this current moment, I don't. I don't want it and I don't need it. Number three is shoes. Obviously, I buy shoes and I have shoes and I have slippers and I have, and I have sneakers, for example, but I do not have shoes for every color, for every outfit. I only have a, probably five pairs of shoes and I will actually have to go through them and declutter from what we had from our old um, house and but what I meant by that is I do not buy shoes just because I love buying shoes. No, I don't do that. I only buy shoes if it's necessary. Number four goes with shoes. I do not have purses for every outfit. I have my everyday purse and then I have my um, backpack and then I have my large like a duffel bag if I ever need to, like if we go on a trip and that's it. Number five is makeup. Only makeup I buy is eyebrow pencil my eyeliner, mascara, and eyeshadow palette. Natural ones, this is the Pacifica brand. I, I'm allergic to any chemicals, so I buy the most natural product I can find online. And this is what I use. I don't need anything else. Obviously, everyone is different. This is what I use and what I don't buy. I don't need it. I don't like the foundation, the aspect of it, that it smooths out every natural aspect of your skin. I think people are beautiful as they are with their natural skin tones, with all their blemishes, um, all their wrinkles. I believe people are beautiful without covering it all up, not letting your skin breathe, soaking it into your skin for hours on end. It just, it's never been my thing. That's one of the things I do not buy and I do not know if I will ever buy. Number six is lotion. I do not buy lotion, probably similar to the reason I don't buy foundation. I like my skin to breathe. Number seven is perfume. Um, I only have one. Again, it's the Pacifica brand. The French, I have the, I have the French lilac one. Would I want some other fancier maybe perfume? Maybe one. I would just have to go through them and smell them and see if I like them. I'm very particular with smells. Number eight is body wash. I don't buy body wash. I just don't see a need for it. Um, we use shampoo, we use soap, but I don't buy the bottles of body wash. It's just, um, I don't buy them. Number nine is shaving cream. I just found shampoo works much better and I just really have a thing. I don't like how shaving cream is. It bothers me, I don't like it. Number 10 is hairspray. I don't buy hairspray. I never found a need for it. I never had a moment when I'm like, oh shoot, I wish I had hairspray. I never did, I never needed it, so I don't buy hairspray. Number 11, wired bras, padded bras. I don't wear any of those and I don't buy them. Number 12 is spandex of any sort, body shaping. I don't buy those things. Number 13, belts. I don't have a belt. I don't own a belt. My son has a belt. My daughter has a belt. I don't have a belt. Does that mean I never want to buy a belt? No. I think I want to have one belt. 
something that's 100% leather, something that I might maybe might find thrifted. I will definitely look for a thrifted one. Number 14 is rain jackets. The only time you need them is for rain. And yes, we have a lot of rain here in the Northwest, but coats work just as well. Jackets work just as well. So we don't, I don't get rain jackets. Number 15 is hats. You know those fancy hats ladies like to wear? Well, I, I guess I'm a very different kind of lady. I do not wear hats. Number 16, haircuts, hair salons. I do not go to get my boys' haircuts done. I cut my boys' hair myself and I do not cut my own hair in a salon. I cut my own hair at home or ask my daughter to do it and I do not go to the hair salon to um, do my hair, which also includes coloring my hair. That goes to number 17, hair coloring. I do not get hair products to dye my hair. I do not dye my hair. I like my natural hair color. This is my natural hair color. I love how soft it is, how um, I just love it. And does that mean I'll never dye my hair? I don't know. Maybe someday I'll decide, oh, I'm going gray and I need to go dye my hair. Or I might embrace my gray hair and decide to just keep it like that. I don't know. Right at this current moment, I do not dye my hair neither do I want to dye my hair and this is where I am right now. Number 18 is hair conditioner. Just like body wash, we do not have a need for hair conditioner. We just use shampoo, it works perfectly fine and I do not buy hair conditioner. Number 19 is phone cases. I know people like their phone cases but I just have one. I've had this for years and I don't see a need to get another one. That goes to number 20 phones and by what I mean by phones is I do not buy a new phone per season or per every year this is probably an i8 plus I think that's so it's a few years old and it works perfectly fine I do not update it every year I think that it's a waste of money number 21 is makeup wipes I've never used them never needed to um, if I have anything on my eyes like eyeshadow or mascara I just use soap and water it works perfectly fine and coconut oil works just as well so I never found a need for them number 22 is face creams facial creams night creams again I don't know if it's gonna change later down the years down in my life but currently at this moment I do not buy anything for my face and the only thing I put on my face is um, oils and that's it I don't do anything else on my face number 23 is cotton balls I do not have any use for them and I just don't use cotton balls number 24 is meal subscriptions and I'm talking about like meals that come delivered to your door and you just toss them together and cook them up I used to when I was working full-time and my daughter was cooking a lot I would make life as easy as possible for her and we ordered a lot of meal subscription boxes and we don't do that anymore I do the cooking myself or I do, um, we take turns and we just cook homemade meals and that saves us money and that is healthier as well number 25 is nail polish and nail polish removal and my daughters have nail polish I for myself I do not have nail polish I am really weird about um, wearing nail polish or having those long fake nails I just ah oh, I just don't like it it bothers me I just feel it so it just it feels unsanitary. I know maybe it's not the case, maybe it's perfectly clean, but it feels to me like it is, and I like it natural and nude, just, just comfortable. Number 26 is coffee filters and coffee pods. I have a um, espresso machine and that's what we use. I don't have any need for um, coffee filters or pods. If my espresso machine is to break and I cannot afford a new one just yet, I will just get myself a um, coffee press and I'll just use that. Number 27 is fancy kitchen gadgets and things that make your life a little easier like chopping blocks, um, those chopping things or salad spinners. I do want a slow cooker though. I do want a slow cooker and maybe an air fryer. Number 28 is multiples of kitchen up little gadgets and I'm talking about like those little can openers and pizza rollers and like those things. I don't have multiples. I see no need for that. That just clutters up the drawer. You just need one of those things. If it breaks, go get yourself another one. It doesn't mean I don't have multiple spatulas or multiple frying pans. I'm talking about things that are not necessary. If I have a necessary need for two sp spatulas or for two frying pans, I will definitely have two frying pans. Number 29 is paper towels. I don't buy paper towels. I know maybe that's weird to some people, but I don't need them. We just use cloth towels. We just use dish towels, dish cloths. We just use those. 
Number 30 is useless home decor and I'm talking about things that are fancy or pretty and you just buy it just because it's so pretty on the shelf and we buy it into the house and we walk around the house thinking okay where am I gonna put this and you have no idea where to put them. I really had to go down that path of learning how to be very conscious of what I bring into my house. Number 31 is air fresheners. I don't have those air fresheners or those um, plugins that people have. I don't like and I cannot stand those artificial scents. Um, I do have a linen spray and I just spray it on my linens and that is it. Number 32 is DVDs, CDs, any of those things that you can use online. Number 33 is excessive laundry products and I'm talking about like scent boosters or fabric softeners, dryer sheets. I don't buy none of those things. I don't need them. I don't haven't found a need for them. I find my, sh my clothes get perfectly clean, perfectly um, wonderful without any of those. I also don't buy bleach because I think it's horrible for the environment. So I buy more natural products. I buy natural um, detergents and also I use um, washing soda to get stains out and I have a natural um, uh, stain removal and that's it. Number 34, magazines, subscriptions like that. I don't, I don't buy them. I don't, um, that just seems, I don't, I don't know where I would store those. Number 35 is pop and sugary items, sugary drinks. Um, minimalism doesn't go just to items and clothes and stuff. It can go to food as well. Is that something that you need? I don't buy pop or sugary drinks um, as a normal regular thing for us. If we do, that's only for a special occasion, for a party, as a treat. It's not an everyday thing. Number 36, just like I said, I don't like to do my nail polish or I don't do, I also don't go to nail salons. I don't get my nails done. I just don't, I don't spend money there. And just as nail services, I don't also go do lash services. Again, I don't want to have fake lashes. It's just not something I um, would enjoy. So I don't have fake lashes and I don't go to the lash services. Number 38 is cheap toys just because it's on sale. I try to keep um, toys that my kids will actually play with and enjoy. That's not to say it never happens, especially around holidays. It's kind of normal for kids to get a few toys that are pretty unnecessary and definitely something I'm trying to work on more. Number 39 is special dishes, special guest silverware. I don't buy them. I don't have anywhere to store them and neither do I think I'll ever buy them. For me, I like to invite people over that I do not feel embarrassed serving my dishes to. Number 40 is souvenirs. Every time when we travel, then there's all these souvenirs they're selling. And I encourage my kids to really pay attention. Will they really enjoy that? And if the answer is yes, they can buy it. Um, and I, that goes same with me. Number 41 is bottled water for the home. We have a filter, um, the Brita pitchers, and I use those for water filtration. And we use that kind of water. I think it tastes much better than bottled water. And that's not to say we don't ever buy bottled water. We do store bottled water in the car for emergencies. But that is all. We drink water from the faucet with our filter and that's it. Number 42, sunglasses. Yes, I know it's a very different topic and a lot of people love sunglasses. I am super sensitive. My head is so weird. I just... I love how it looks on me and for picture purposes I think I would love to have a pair of glasses, just one pair that's cheap. But like I said, I, my head is sensitive, anything that presses against my the bridge of my nose or in here on my temples, I get a headache. And not only that, I also don't like the dimness in my eyes. I like the bright world, the natural color. And I know it doesn't work for everyone, some people have very sensitive eyes like my daughter does. She needs to wear sunglasses when we're driving, I don't. And I never wear them. Number 43 is robes. I don't have robes for the kids and I don't have robes for myself. Would I ever want a robe? Maybe. Maybe I would just like one robe. But to think about it, I don't ever feel I need it. I just wear a hoodie or a sweatshirt if I'm cold. 44 is PJs. None, none of my kids like to sleep in PJs except my youngest one. Um, she sleeps in PJs. My older ones prefer t-shirts and shorts and I am the same way. Number 45 is faux plants and flowers. I don't buy those. I used to. I used to buy faux plants um, just to fill up space up, but I realized I don't like that. <laughs>
Number 46 is gonna be a big one because this is something very rare and I do not buy a TV. Yep, we don't have a TV in the house. If we wanna watch a movie, we use the laptop or the iPad. The main reason is because we don't have space for it. The second reason is because I don't have a need for it right now. Will I ever buy a TV? Yeah, probably. If we have a bigger space, I would like to have something that's on the wall we can watch as a family around the couch. Currently, we have no TV. Going with the TV, 47 is gaming devices. Again, if my kids wanna play games, and they do play games, is they use their phones, or they use iPads, or they use the computer. Will I ever buy them? Maybe. I don't know, this is the phase I am right now and I don't have a gaming device, I don't have a TV. 48 is bath bombs and bath salts. I don't buy those, I don't enjoy them, I don't like them, I don't have a need for them and we don't buy them. Number 49 is big toys that take up a lot of space, like I don't have a foosball table or a pool table or um, those dark things that kids like to throw. They clutter up the house, they look too big. If I had room, for example, let's say my daughter wants those little ride-on cars, if I had a garage or I could store them, sure, I would buy it, maybe, as a Christmas gift. Um, but otherwise, I don't have them. The only big toys we have are bikes, and we store them in our patio. And the last thing, number 50, is buying stuff just because it's cheap. That's a big thing, and I used to struggle with that years ago when something was on sale, I felt I had to buy because this cup is now one dollar. It used to be five. It's so beautiful. Why? I'll, definitely, it's so pretty. I need to buy it. And I don't think in my head, do I really need an extra cup or an extra mug in my house? The last thing I want to do is buy things just because it's on sale and then have to declutter it again because it's making me feel overwhelmed because we have too much stuff. So that goes with home decor, it, it goes with clothing, it goes with everything. And there's so much things we can buy just because it's on sale and we feel justified. Oh, it was cheap, why not? It adds up and we have too much stuff in our house that we don't really need and nor do we want. So that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's a long one and um, what are the things that you, from my list that you actually really, really need? I would love to know about that. And things that you don't also use, I would love to know if I don't use those as well. I'm pretty sure I can reach 100 items if I th thought about it. But let me know if you guys enjoyed this. Let me know and I will see you in my next one. Bye now.